Conyers' mother says an offensive sign was posted at the shopping center's door, and it said shoppers are banned from wearing hoodies. 11 Alive's Deborah Tuff spoke to the managers of Fred's who posted the sign, and they claim it is for their own safety. A fitness instructor says a hoodie does not equate to crime, she says. But when she went into this Conyers store, they banned her from wearing one. What about those who have to wear a hood regalia for their religion? Do you ask them to remove their items? The center of the issue, this sign posted to the front door of Fred's and Conyers, a large print, it reads, quote, when coming into the store, please remove your hoodie from your head. Thank you, management. Blank discrimination, which is not fair, which is also against the law. Sanders claims they used the go-ahead from a county deputy in Georgia Law 161138 as backup. The law relates to wearing a mask, hood, or other device, which conceals the ID of the person wearing it. Sanders alleges a manager said, These kids actually wear hoodies in the summertime come in here to steal. The store refused to comment on camera, but told us off-camera Fred's was robbed New Year's Eve. The suspect wore a hoodie. To make him employees in the store feel safe, they ban hoodies. So you mean to tell me because I have on a hood that I'm considered a criminal? You have criminals who wear three-piece suits every day. We got legal expert Jason Swindle to weigh in. He said there's no broad ban on hoodies in stores, and the, quote, critical issue surrounds the behavior of the person with the hoodie in the store. I have a hoodie in my truck that I leave in my truck. I Sanders says after a workout, she typically wears one like this one. After hitting roadblocks with the district and corporate offices, she's demanding an apology. She need to find another different loss prevention method, i.e. invest in some surveillance cameras, maybe get some police officers to detail your store. The sign has since been taken down. From Conyers, Deborah Tuff, 11 Alive News. Still ahead, a major